What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now, quarantine is actually over in Monaco. So you're allowed to come around as long as you have a mask on, you're allowed to be out if you're working. So I've come to visit a client here from my marketing agency, Stars Monte Carlo. I'm going to put their Instagram down below so that you guys can follow. And we're actually going to take a look at one of their beautiful cars. So let's go inside, let's close these doors so there's not too much road noise. And let's have a look at the Koenigsegg Agira R. Now, we wanted to bring you some content, but obviously we're doing the best we can with the circumstances. And this car, we're gonna have to leave in the garage, but I thought I would walk you around it. It's a very special car. Some of you may recognize it from early car spotting videos. This car's been in the area for a very long time and is in a very, very particular spec. So we're gonna look around the inside, the outside, talk about the specs. And yeah, so awesome to be here, to be able to see a car again, get close. Uh, even though we're inside, the mask is uh, really important. So we're keeping this on for the video um, as well. But this car, Koenigsegg Agera R, this specific one was built in 2012, delivered down here in Monaco uh, and is absolutely stunning. It's finished in like a cream color, pearlescent, um, really nice metallic paint. It's also got carbon fiber here which may look like it's black, but it's actually purple. So even though there is this purple carbon here, there are little details with traditional kind of matte black carbon. You'll see more inside, but around the headlights, this is a hugely powerful car, twin turbocharged V8. This one produces just over 1,100 horsepower. So, I mean, you guys know Koenigsegg, you know the story, Swedish-based hypercar company started by Christian von Koenigsegg in his early 20s. Awesome story there. And there are some about with very, very nice specs. This is one of the most particular ones. Someone told me they were gonna make a cream metallic car with purple carbon. You'd think, well, you know, really? But when you see it in real, uh, it's very, very cool. We're gonna talk about all sorts of things like these doors, very specific design. But first of all, let's get the stats out of the way. This car will do around 250 50 miles per hour. So massively fast in a straight line. The Agera R, they actually produced from 11, 2011 to around 2014. And then there are other variants like the uh, Agera RS, the one-to-one -one, and the S. So yeah, very, very nice. This one was one of the first we saw here in Europe and is now for sale here at Stars Monte Carlo. And I love it. Uh, it's really big, it's pretty massive. In the front here, you can actually lift this hood up and that's where you can put the roof when you're not using it because the hard top roof on this will come off. One particular design that uh, makes these very recognizable is the central windscreen wiper right there. So one singular windscreen wiper, which is always in its locked position up in the middle, which may be disconcerting at first, but you kind of get used to it once you've been around. So the carbon fiber continues also even through these stripes, which may just look like normal stripes. Those are actually carbon finished. And so is this Koenigsegg little plaque here. Now the aerodynamic details go around all of the car. So for example, these little openings here above the front wheels are to get the turbulent air out of the wheel arches. Um, and the wheels themselves are actually pretty interesting. Center locks, uh, and they've kind of got this turbine design, um, which is really nice. And obviously again, just to filter the air in uh, the most kind of efficient way around the car. Um, yeah, awesome looking thing. Uh, this is actually one of the Koenigsegg Agueras with the most mileage in the world. It's got over 20,000 kilometers. So yeah, very cool to see that it actually got used and the interior is a pretty nice place to be. So why don't we hop in there and you'll see what we're talking about. Now, before we hop in, we have to show you these doors, very particular door design. So you pull the door and it kind of opens outwards and upwards. So you need to make sure you've got quite a bit of space next to the car. It just about fits where we are right now, but it actually, yeah, so it comes out and then goes up. So you need to be careful that you're not next to a big sidewalk right there or to park too close to a car because it is quite a chunky door. But here you can see all the exposed gloss black carbon and you can see the color change between the purple carbon and the black carbon, which is really cool. Now the cream and purple actually continues around the inside. So you've got cream leather, purple stitching. It's a very, very particular spec, but honestly, I know I've said this a few times, but it comes together very, very nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat uh, and then we'll look through the interior. Right, so it's quite a big sill. You need to kind of jump over here. So once you're in, right, let me get all of these harnesses and stuff out from behind me. So you've got this pretty race-like four-point harness, uh, which you tie up and uh, you have little locks here where you would put the top parts of it on, which currently aren't on the car. But inside it's a mix of carbon fiber, leather and Alcantara. So it's mostly leather in this. So you've got the cream leather with the purple details, purple accents all around and even the purple leather on the seat here with the white sti or cream stitching. And the purple stitching continues all over the place, including on the roof right here, which is a removable hardtop, as I mentioned earlier. 
So you just unlock from all of these different points here, three in the front, two in the back, and then it just simply lifts out. What's quite nice is it actually lets them light in because you've got uh, this glass panel, which is really nice in terms of making the cabin feel a little bit more airy because it is very slanted forward. So to close the door, you just grab the door handle right here. Should just about fit. Oh, it's so tight. And when you bring the door closed, you see that you are properly in here. So the windows are very small. You're very low down in the car. I mean, I'm not the tallest bloke in the world. And the front windscreen is sort of very far away and quite narrow. So having this extra light coming in is quite nice. Now you do have a little bit of a rear view, not much. It's more just like a little cubby hole that you can look through, but it does mean that the rear view mirror does serve some sort of a purpose. A tiny little, what I guess you'd qualify as a glove box here, little opening, um, which is quite nice. Your airbag covered in matte carbon fiber. And these air vents, these um, kind of fighter jet inspired air vents, which look awesome, all finished with the Koenigsegg logo. Now it's pretty simplistic in here. So you've just just got purely your kind of aircon functions here these buttons they don't really have anything on them and then these you won't be able to see it now are various settings like uh, the windows up and down locking the car your headlights your fog lights your front lift system these are the windows for the passenger side so yeah everything is kind of controlled through this and this screen here is actually a touch screen down here you've got your hazard lights and then foot on the brake you press that engine start button, it's keyless go on this. So as long as you've got the key on you, you're good to go. So twin turbocharged V8 linked to a double clutch gearbox, which you can control through these flappy paddles right here. This is the only area that Alcantara kind of really starts to seep in is on the steering wheel. Purple Alcantara steering wheel uh, with a flat bottom. Very cool. You've also got a few buttons on here, which you can preset to whatever you want them to be. So they don't actually have any uh, logos on them. You can choose whether you want them to be volume. You can kind of preset it to whatever you like. And then fully digital dash. So in the central piece of the dash right here is where you'd have your rev counter and your speeds. And then down bottom, you have all sorts of warning lights etc um, but yeah fairly simplistic it's actually quite a nice place to be fairly comfortable these seats i feel like they'd hold you in nicely but you could do um, quite a few miles in these very special car i mean obviously this car costs uh, above a million pounds so um it's a pretty special place to be indeed carbon five all over the place i mean look at this this is kind of a mix it doesn't feel fully matte but it's not fully gloss either right here but you don't really want to be putting your phone or anything because that feels like it could scratch pretty easily definitely just as much of an art piece as it is a marvel of technology i really really like it i like the way they've managed to make you feel like you're almost in a spaceship with this front windscreen going front front and here you can see that central windscreen wiper we were talking about earlier uh, which when you're driving you actually don't notice as much as you'd maybe think you would at first right let's hop out and maybe have a look at the engine so to get out of the car you just pull the door handles there's actually nothing on the uh, door because all of the window controls are right here so purely just hold this push outwards and upwards very slowly because it's a tight spot and you're good to go i mean look at the size of these side sills that you need to get over to come in this opening's not particularly big so uh, i imagine it's a lot easier to get in once you take the roof off guys look at this so you lift up this huge carbon fiber piece right here and boom there it is the beast twin turbocharged v8 uh, look at this i mean these exhaust outlets right here that come to the singular exhaust are just fantastic i mean you can't really see too much of what's going on it looks very impressive there's a lot of carbon here you can see this the the purple carbon fiber which is pretty awesome um and then obviously all the gloss carbon right there and even these suspension arms here it's just it's just very very cool you can see the gearbox down there as well hidden under everything it's all nicely packaged into the rear of this car and obviously look at this i mean all of the carbon all around here now there's also a ghost on all these cunning eggs and uh now i don't want to get the story too wrong but i believe it was because if i put this back down it was because Koenigsegg actually moved in to a factory which used to be the headquarters for a Swedish army undercover kind of fighter jet section and the logo for the squadron was this ghost so when they moved into the factory as a little homage to the people that were there before them they decided to put that ghost a little sign on all of the engine bays which is pretty cool correct me if I'm wrong on that but I believe that is the full story you can see around back here also more carbon fiber and even when the engine bay is closed you can see the suspension arms poking through right there and a little bit of the engine bay um, also Awesome, awesome, awesome car. A uh, lot of carbon around here. All of this purple carbon fiber, huge diffuser, and little details like these little diffuser slates, slats, whatever you'd call them, right there, finished in cream as well. Awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, huge thank you, of course, to Stars Monte Carlo for showing us this. As you can see, there are a lot of other very, very special and very expensive cars here. So we may be doing more of these videos. I hope you could hear what I was saying with this uh, mask on, um, but obviously better safe than sorry. And we've got to respect all the rules. But yeah, awesome. I thought I'd show you the, the Koenigsegg Agera R. Absolutely fantastic car for me, kind of special place in my heart, having spotted this many, many years ago. I actually waited outside a nightclub until about five o'clock in the morning for this car just to get a startup clip back in the day. So. <laughs> Pretty cool to see it here and be able to sit inside it. So guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you again very soon, potentially even without a mask, who knows. Cheers guys, bye bye.